Hi! In this video, we'll look at accelerations involved in circular motion. The main reason we are introducing circular motion in this class is so that we can refer to this when we talk about rotation later in Unit 2. So I'll try to keep this brief. Because velocities and accelerations involved in two-dimensional motion can be complicated to describe in words, I will use FAT PHET simulation called motion in 2D to illustrate the velocity and acceleration vectors. Um, if you want to try this out, you will need to download it and run the Java simulation. So this is the motion in 2D simulation. You can see that as I drag the ball around, two arrows appear. The green arrow is the velocity vector and the blue arrow is the acceleration vector. See if the directions and lengths of these vectors make sense. Let me show what happens with linear acceleration 1 and linear acceleration 2. That seems reasonable. Okay, if this makes sense, then let's now see what the velocities and accelerations look like in circular motion. So this is what we call uniform circular motion. Uniform part refers to the constant speed. Observe how the length of the velocity vector does not change. Now, because the velocity vector is a constantly changing direction, an object in uniform circular motion is accelerating. And when we say that, we are using the physics definition of acceleration, which is the rate of change of the velocity vector. Not the everyday definition of acceleration, which refers to speeding up, like in an acceleration pedal. Note how the acceleration vector points towards the center of the circle that the object in uniform circular motion traces. Because the acceleration vector is always perpendicular to the velocity vector, it does not lead to the length of the velocity vector changing, increase or decrease, but it does lead to the direction of velocity vector changing. Section 2.8 of your textbook is called Centripetal Acceleration in reference to this acceleration. Centripetal means center seeking. Just as how this acceleration vector points towards the center of the circle about here. And for an object to display uniform circular motion, it must be undergoing a centripetal acceleration. It also works in converse an object undergoing a centripetal acceleration will move in uniform circular motion, tracing out at least a portion of the circle. So that's all. When we get to rotation, we will talk about rate of rotation and other fun dynamical quantities. Bye.